Hello everyone, this is Alex and Linkwitz here, and welcome to my, um, uh, I think it's more of a one-shot Let's Play of a game called Bad Memories. Um, it is a, well, it's a nostalgic horror game, as in it's supposed to look like a PlayStation 1 game, more, it's more based around, uh, the game like Silent Hill and Resident Evil. I don't know much about it. Um, I just was like skimming through Destructoid and Destructoid mentioned this game. So I thought, okay, I'll give it a shot. And well, since it was like a basic simple download and everything, uh, and really it's been a while since I posted a video, I thought, okay, might as well just uh, do a recording of this just, just for the heck of it. I mean, I haven't really gotten around to making videos in a while. Because I've been busy with some other stuff, but yeah, so why not? I, one shot would be good and everything. So yeah, um, well, I, without further ado, let's just begin. And Mary Yamashi or something. Okay, well, uh, as you can see, the character's feet don't move when I spin him, but it is classic tank controls. Can I run? No. But yeah, it's classic tank controls, fixed cameras, and the style looks like something out of a PlayStation 1 game, and that's the whole idea. Okay, I picked up a flashlight. Although that text is definitely not uh, PlayStation 1 quality. It's way too clean. Um, I think when I looked at the Destructoid, they said like the idea of this game is... You know, you're an old class. You used to go to this school, which is where I am now. Um, the school was closed down because of, well, torture and murder, I guess. So, yeah, it's present. There are four different keyholes, each with a different icon. When I like to leave properly, I need those keys. Okay. So anyway, from if you saw from the beginning, I don't. There's some stuff about it. This game, I don't know how long it is or anything, but I'm assuming it's gonna be like maybe somewhere around an hour or so. And so I'm gonna, you know, somebody lit these lanterns. So oh, I guess it was tough about that. It's a local newspaper dated 12 years ago. Imagine anyone being interested in this in the school news old. Shit, it's just a demo door. Demo door. Maybe it's because this is more of a demo, I guess. Okay, we got a classic door opening, like in Resident Evil. I do have to say, it's kind of impressive. I, from This is actually made in Game Maker, and it's really impressive to see the, what you can do with Game Maker. And it definitely does look like something out of the PlayStation 1 game. Actually, when I first saw a screenshot, I thought, oh... Is this a, a survive, one of those rare survival horror games going to come on PSN? You know, like a PlayStation 1 classic? But nope, looked into it. It's like, oh, someone actually, you know, did the nostalgic trick and everything. I need I need a key to room 100 and stuff. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. We'll just see what some people make with this. Most people tend, when they try to make a nostalgic game, they go with that 16-bit or 8-bit eight, eight look. Not a lot of people tend to make, uh, you know... PlayStation 1 graphics style, which in some ways I kind of understand why, because for some reason, 16-bit and 8-bit kind of had more of a charm to it compared to, to these kind of graphics. I don't know. I mean, in some ways, uh, some people argue maybe that this helps make it scary because of fixed cameras and some, you know, the way that there's low polygons, it it's more, gives you more an imagination. So let's see, 1993, 1993, 358. Okay. It's an old cuckoo clock, that nice design. Wait, what's that? There's a key on the cuckoo resort. Perhaps this is a puzzle. If I set the time correctly, the gates will open and the key will be mine. That, or I can just, you know, destroy it. Mm hmm. You know, break it. So, oh, I guess I need to just select that and then. Oh, 
What was that thing thing earlier? Three fifty eight. Nineteen ninety three three fifty eight. From what I know this game takes place in nineteen ninety three or so, so I guess maybe I need three fifty eight, so let's try the the big hand. I mean the little hand. Get to three. Okay. And now the big hand. Okay, so I can't go in that, so it has to be a Pacific time number. I'll go back to this later. I could do the easy trick of just going by, you know, each number individually or something, but I'll look for clues later. Oh, what's that over there? Uh, history notes from a student. It is the year 1993. Today, three, five, 358 years ago, the school was founded by some name. That year opened the gate to success for some name and her inhabitants. We will always remember that year. It's extremely important to all of us. Unknown student. I just couldn't sit still when I sat in one of these. Yeah, so this is actually, uh, this guy used to be a, a used to be a student at this place. It does feel kind of weird because, because if you don't know, I'm actually playing this entire game with just my left hand. There's, a, there's no mouse needed, and, you know, all the keys that are used are on here. I mean, I can't even, like, uh, use the regular arrow keys to move my character, so I'm stuck with using the Wasta keys, of course. Which is fine, but it just, I guess, in some ways, kind of wish I could have both hands working together. Okay, so, what's this? So this appears to end floating around. Okay. Still, the feel. What are these? Mm -hmm. Oh, Madison. So there might be enemies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually uh, checked out this developer's um, other games on GameMaker.com or so. I'll make sure to put a link in the description. And I think, it, like, you know, this guy has the thing for making games look like. Um, Placed early PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 quality. I don't know if he's, like, taking the limitations and trying to use the whole, like, A, it's old graphics, so it has a nostalgic feel to it. But, you know, it's... It, I can't deny that it does feel like I'm playing an old game. Um, but one thing that bugged me, of course, is that I looked at one of his games, and, of course, he had a list of screenshots... And it turns out that most of the screenshots are actually more of instant links to YouTube videos. And, of course, the YouTube videos are full of those Let's Players, you know, the ones that... Um, I don't know if they are, they're screamers or so, but it just feels like, wow, they have face cams and everything. So, they kind of want to jump. Snowflakes are falling in the sky and I'm just watching something. You know, just an instant thought of, oh. Note on the door, it is long from the cafeteria, so the... The students don't come barging it, and we have left. They can get pretty hungry at night soon. Then to the teacher's desk in room number uh, 100. Please remember to return it when you're done. So they went then. So they don't have numbers on top, which is kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, so yeah, there was like YouTube videos all over. Oh, so this is one, 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 one. You know, they could like just have something on the top of the door. Or, you know, this isn't like appropriate in schools, so that way students don't end up going into the wrong class. There's a whole. This horrible smell coming from the other side. Okay, so I can't open it, so I have to go there somehow. Under in July. Mm hmm. Now, 
And yeah, like I said, YouTube father videos and, you know, I kind of always really dislike a bit when it's always, when a lot of games try to advertise that a lot. I mean, it's okay if they were advertising me, a their game, but when it advertises other people, yeah, that's just wrong. Nah, but you know, it's it's, it's just kind of like like hey, you know, it's these let's players they've been playing this game, which means you gotta play it, huh? I mean, maybe I'll try this guy's other work too, but I don't know yet. Okay, let's just see if we can take care of this clock puzzle. Um, okay, so small hand. Let's just start it like that. Okay, and now let's just go with the. Just gonna go around one more time. Why? Because I went by a little fast and I don't know if they skip things. Okay. Boy. Isn't this exciting? I'm trying to think of like the scene from Family Guy. Guy. Alright, one 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 one. Lois damn. One 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 two. Lois damn. One 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 three. <laughs> I guess I don't have to try to figure that out with the thing too complicated. No, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Okay. Really up. Up. There we go. I think that was like four thirty-five. Oh, that's a that's a big ass key. Uh. Okay, let's. Uh, okay, so this is classic. Get a room one. All right. 100. Excellent. I don't have any memos. Alright. So, now on to room 100. I do hope this video is not, not that loud because, uh, again, I haven't done these videos in a while and I'm not exactly that kind of person who goes through the trouble of trying to make sure both audio levels are perfectly fine or having them in separate files so that way I can edit them properly. You know, I'm, I guess I'm lazy, but maybe it's because I'm too busy with other things. Okay. Oh. Well, let's see. Do I press... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so... What's in here? Ooh. It's Silent Hill now. Is there something on those? So, a mannequin, its lower body is human, but the rest is completely made out of plastic. Oh, okay. That, that's some weird looking mannequin. Mannequin, a little bit. Yeah, I know that. I'm trying to. Can I pick up the key? Oh, did I already pick it up? Okay, well, let's see what the key is for. Uh, let's get into... So long, it to prevent monsters from following me. Ah, I didn't fully read that, but okay, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so... So is this mannequin guy going to be a monster? What's well, not a key? Or is that going to be automatic? I'm, st I'm, I'm stuck. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm actually stuck. Uh, what 
do I do? I'm stuck, guys! Save me! Save me! Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Nothing here. Uh, well, the game warned me, but god damn it. God damn it. Okay, guys, wait for a bit. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I, uh, I was really stuck in there, so I had to, like, start a new game. Kind of maybe discovered a glitch, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep that in the video or not, but who knows. Anyway, let's pick this key. There we go. All right, now let's try to not get stuck. Uh. Yeah. Oh, there we are. Hey, it's a mannequin guy. <laughs> Oh, hold on. There we go. That keeps the mannequin thing out. That thing almost kind of reminded me of, uh, what are they called? Uh, Necromorphs from, uh, Dead Space. And that, that, that game is not scary and it's so overrated. Okay, so there's a new note and there was a, there was a person talking previously. That's ah, a newspaper. Teacher abuses students for her own satisfactory. The, the three-year-old teacher, Atoikos or something, whatever, I don't know, has recently accused of torture by an anonymous student uh, from something academy. She claimed that the teacher admitted that he felt satisfaction by simply looking at live female mannequins. Therefore, he would force his female students inside a mannequin's body during his class. Am I even saying that right? Is that a mannequin? Because how do how the hell do you put therefore he would force his female students inside a mannequin's body during his class, which led to serious breathing difficulties for multiple girls. The accuser started crying during her, her appearance in court stating should burn in hell February 1990 20th of February okay there's that okay you might have not noticed that but there's this thing that we glitch I guess if I'm too close to these plants I say something but I also re-interact with something I don't know hmm. sounds like uh oh good I can go from here Oh yeah, just so you know, I didn't pick up the health packs that were in the other room, so maybe I might screw myself with some monsters. Okay, so this is the cafeteria. Lovely. What's this? Yeah, I bet this is one of those games... It's all, huh? I'll have to wait for the full version to come out. <laughs> Get it? Because this is technically a demo. Get it? <laughs> In? Hmm. So outside. Oh, look, it's one of those mannequin things. You know, it's like a thing nowadays. It's like, you know, you either make ugly monsters, you either make mannequins, you make something. They just can't seem to decide. They always seem to go with these easy things. Oh, well, some guy has some weird thing for mannequins. I'm not actually going to question who kind of, what kind of person, like, literally goes through the trouble of fitting that person into a mannequin. And I'm actually even wondering, can you really even do that? I mean, I guess if the mannequin is hollow or something, but, well, they go. Mm, do I dare jump in? Yes. Oh. Yep. Oh, floating desk chairs. Can't reach that. Yeah, I mean, it actually does have some creepiness to it. I do feel a little creep out. But I guess it's because it's very old Silent Hill-like, and it feels very fresh in the eyes since I've 
compared to like you know if you played Silent Hill you kind of remember where you're going so seeing something completely new is kind of something then, plus I guess you know it's kind of nice to see a horror game that doesn't try to just jump out scare you crap like almost every most uh, indie horror games made by you know people who clearly just want YouTube father clicks um kind of horror is there any door that's working? Um, this is like a maze thing. Like, well, did I just win in circles? Dead body. Um. Hi there. As you can probably tell, I took the easy way of letting myself out. We kept evil inside these walls for six long years, but it's just too much for us. We can no longer stand against all the horrible things that we've done. The bell outside is what brings these monsters back to life. Every time it rings, all the dead martyrs will be running around again. Take my handgun, the handgun of a coward. You'll need it to find those keys, you know. At least save yourself. Let's see, is the bell going to ring right when I get the gun or right when... Uh, let's see, this man, this man died in 1993. What the hell is he doing here now? He died again. Pretty ironic, actually. Uh, what the hell? Our uh, merchants, I think, talking, taking the handgun is my best bet. But you didn't see the, uh... So do I have the handgun? I, I do not Ah, wrong button. Oh, that's uh, that's how it looks like either he's preparing. He just raises his arm. Okay, so no monsters showing up. That that's a sign. Mm-hmm. I do have to say this is pretty well atmospheric, but again, it's supposed to like copy and sign hit sign the hill, which. It's not a bad thing, but I'm just saying it, it's it's just kind of like, of course it's kind of atmospheric. It's it's taking something that worked, and I guess I can't argue with that. Dear player, this has been the demo for the up, my upcoming horror game. I know online uh, that this ending is rather abrupt. I am looking for feedback for future resumes and eventually a full game. I want to thank you a thousand times for playing, and please leave any suggestions that comes to mind. Thanks a lot. The final ending of the game won't be abrupt as this. Oh. Huh. Well, um... I gotta say, guy, you did a pretty decent job so far. It, It's very... The game looks pretty good for what it's meant to be. Yes, and it's a, it looks like a PlayStation 1 game. I mean, heck, if you showed anyone it, someone would probably instantly confuse it to be a PlayStation 1 game and not a modern game, which is something. It... It does follow a lot of the whole tropes of the tank controls and the uh, fixed camera angles, which are nice. I would say maybe the way the character, you know, prepares his gun is a little silly because it's it's just raising the arm up and everything. Um, of course, since I didn't fight any enemies, I can't really say if the gunplay works decently enough. But, you know, I don't see much anything wrong to say, and I guess... Uh, the app, the atmosphere looks pretty decent. It's not exactly anything original, but you know, probably for your for what you're trying to make as like uh, an homage to old uh, PlayStation One horror games, that it was pretty good for what I experienced. Anyway, guy. Anyway, I guess that's really all I got to say to the to this developer with this game. It's it was interesting. Maybe when they when there's a full version of it out, I'll probably play it. Don't know. Who knows. I kind of had my I had my fun, but I don't know if it really filled me up. 
game I feel to make me want to continue playing this. But yeah, who knows? Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video of mine. Um, feel free to leave a like or in the comment. And if you want to see more of my videos, feel free to sub <laughs> subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. See you later, everyone.